James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the Long Rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. What did I tell you? That worked like a Bristol clock. As soon as that settler reports he was attacked by Wyandotte, the war will be on. I'm not so sure, Braxton. Them Indians love that peace treaty of theirs. When I get through pulling strings, Wade, they'll love us more. Braxton and Wade, firearms and powder for prime furs. Protect your redskins against the avenging redcoats. What makes you so sure <laughs> the Wyandots will trade with us? How else will they get arms and ammunition? Wait, don't lose your nerve now. There's a fortune in this for us. Yeah, they're Wyandotte arrows, all right. Well, I thought so, Hawkeye, but I wasn't sure. That's why I sent for you and Chingachgook. Well, a couple of arrows don't make an uprising. You wasn't the one they shot at. If I didn't have my musket, I'd probably had my hair lifted. Wyandotte, honorable tribe. Not break peace treaty with pale face. Peace treaty. Them Wyandots understand only one kind of peace. Backed by guns and soldiers who know how to use them. Black Wolf not break treaty. Wyandotte want peace, not war. He's right. Black Wolf's a friend of ours. He's an honorable man. He keeps his word. Yeah, a real nice friend to have. I'm not the first settler who's been attacked. And while we're shilly-shallying, them savages are fixing to attack some other place. I say we should teach him a lesson they'll never forget. I'm afraid he's right, Hawkeye. You remember what happened at Fort Superior when the Hurons broke their treaty? But Wyandots aren't Hurons. Perhaps. But in the absence of Colonel Ewing, I'm responsible for the safety of this territory. Excuse me, gentlemen. Ely? Ely, prepare a detail. We're marching on the Wyandot village. Just a minute, Major. You send armed troops and you'll really have an uprising on your hands. Hawkeye, I don't propose to start anything. And there won't be any trouble. If Black Wolf can explain those. Black Wolf explained to friend, not soldier. Chingachgook knows what he's talking about, Major. I'm sure we can get Black Wolf to come back here and help straighten out this misunderstanding. Well, perhaps you're right, Hawkeye. But make it clear to him. If he doesn't come voluntarily, we'll bring him in. I have spoken to my people. No Wyandot break peace. We take counsel. There's no need for Black Wolf to speak to his people. Always when Black Wolf has spoken, it is with truth. Why Yankees soldier one Black Wolf? Yankees see only Wyandotte arrows. They wish to hear the truth from Black Wolf himself. What if Yankees not believe words of Black Wolf? Is the chief of Wyandotte like Coyote in Jaws of Trap? Black Wolf is no Coyote. He's my friend. I would not lead a friend into a trap. Okay. I go to Fort in peace. I come back to my people in peace. I give you my word. I go. Black Wolf, I want to thank you for coming. But I'll come straight to the point. I've had complaints from settlers that you Wyandots have attacked them. Wyandots not make war without first sending sign of rabbit and arrow. Do you recognize this? Arrow of my people. You see, he admits it. But Wyandot not shoot arrow. Major, Black Wolf has questioned his braves. None of them were anywhere near this man's place. It's his word against this. You've never had any reason before to doubt Black Wolf. What's he doing here? 
concern of yours is that, Braxton? And since when does a regimental scout burst into his commanding officer's quarters without knocking? I was attacked by a band of Wyandots not more than an hour ago. I barely escaped with my life. It appears you haven't checked with all your braves. Black Wolf speaks truth. If Wyandot brave has broken treaty, he will die by Wyandot law. Don't let him get away, Major. He's as bad as all the other Indians. Treaties mean nothing to them. Healy? James! Black Wolf, I'm afraid I must hold you for further questioning. Why, you can't do that, Major. I gave Black Wolf my word that he was free to go as soon as you spoke to him. Free to lead his redskins in an uprising, you mean? Braxton's right. I'm telling you, Major, if you let Black Wolf go, the next thing he'll do is attack this fort and wipe it out. You've no right to hold him and mark me as a liar. Hawkeye, you volunteered to bring in Black Wolf. Nothing more. Lock him in the guardhouse. Thing, Major. As long as you keep Black Wolf locked up, there'll be no Indian uprising. I'm only holding him because I'm executive officer here and not in command. The final decision is, of course, up to Colonel Ewing. Then you'd better send for him and get him here before the Wyandots learn what you've done. You needn't tell me my duties, Hawkeye. Braxton, Colonel Ewing and his wife are visiting his sister up at Three Meadows. I want you to get there as fast as you can and bring them back here. Yes, sir. Hawkeye, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to back up your promise to Black Wolf, but I'm a soldier. Just pray that you won't be a lot sorrier before we're through with this. Just before I could warn Black Wolf, many soldiers came and put him in jail. Hawkeye gave word. Why and that chief return to his people in peace? You Indians will never learn. It's only men like me that are your real friends. I've got many fire sticks and powder for you. I'll give them to you in exchange for furs. Black Wolf say Yankees friends make treaty. We do not need fire sticks. That treaty went up in smoke when the soldiers came and locked up Black Wolf. With fire sticks. You won't have to sit here and wait for the Redcoats to come. You can attack them first and beat them. Wyandots have no war chief. Without Black Wolf, we do not fight. Then get him back. Fire sticks against walls of port. Small medicine. Maybe I've got big medicine. I've been sent to bring Yankee's colonel back to the fort. It just might happen I could lead him into a little ambush. Lord! Still can't understand why you two want to come all the way from the fort to look at a tree. Well, help yourself. I got a lot of chores to take care of. Arrow come from there. This is Coo Feather, sign of great warrior. Warrior value more than life, not lose. Tracks go off this way. There's your answer. Moccasin tracks changed to white man boot prints. My brother Hawkeye is right. White man attacked settler, not Indian. But Braxton said he was attacked by Indians. A scout should be able to tell the difference. But maybe if ambushed. If there ever was an ambush, I seem to remember that Braxton was mighty anxious to have Black Wolf jailed. You think Braxton make ambush? Well, I'm not sure. But if he's guilty, Colonel Ewing's in real danger. Welcome to Three Meadows Inn. Clean sheets, fine food. Would you tell Colonel Ewing that we're here? You another messenger from the fort? 
Then he's gone? How long ago did they leave? Now, no, let me see. Now, the colonel and his lady, they come down, and they were just about to eat. And this man came in. Oh, what did he say his name was? Uh, uh, Brack something. Braxton? Braxton? Well, I didn't quite get it, but it could be. Uh, uh, sort of an ordinary looking man with a mustache. The minute he spoke to the colonel, they left. When go? Well, uh, about an hour. Could you tell us which way they went? I can show you. Yeah, I was standing right here watching, and off they went to the forts. You can see the road here, and the fort's down there to the right, but you know they took the left fork. I remember saying to myself at the time, now, that's not the road to the forts, not unless the fort's been changed. Yeah, but then I don't get much news around here. I'm not traveling the way they used to. Hello, this looks like as good a spot as any to rest the horses in this clearing. Why, we'd be like sitting ducks in a pond. Oh, there ain't nothing to worry about, Colonel. There won't be no Indian uprising with Black Wolf locked up in the guardhouse. But if you're concerned about it while you and Mrs. Ewing are resting, I'll scout on ahead. An excellent idea, Braxton. All yours. I left them back there in the clearing. Hawkeye and Chingachgook, what are you doing here? We're trailing you, Colonel. Where's Braxton? Scouting ahead. We're waiting here for him to return. If I've got things figured right, you're going to have a long wait. I don't think he'll be coming back. But if he does, he won't be alone. What are you implying? I'm not implying anything, Colonel. I'm telling you, you're headed for the Wyandotte village, not the fort. Preposterous. Braxton's one of the best regimental scouts we've got, and a good man, too. He told us the shortcut would save a full day's travel. What's the matter? Indians! Wyandotte give tribal sign. Peace treaty finished. Mean war. Do you think they will attack us? When they make peace, give word. Now take back word. Go on war path. We must move on immediately. Chingachgook, take the colonel and his lady to the fort that way. I'll make a trail this way and try to draw them off. Circle around and meet you later. I still can't understand about Braxton. There's no time for talk now, sir. Just hurry. Take White Squaw. Trail him. I'll look after the Colonel. Hawkeye, we just can't sit here while my wife's in the hands of those savages. When Chingit's cook returns, Colonel, we'll know what we have to do. I'd never forgive myself if anything happened to her. My wife, where is she? Is she safe? 
which is in Wyandotte Village. They have big council, much talk. Braxton make big talk. So Braxton is behind us. He want war, attack fort. He give guns, take furs. A traitor. He'll hang for this. Right now, my only concern is for my wife's safety. I have it. Black Wolf is in our hands. We'll exchange him for Martha. Why and Doc not do that? They want Great White Chief, you, in trade for Black Wolf. Now, what difference does it make as long as they get their chief back? Colonel, to the Indians, your wife is just an unimportant squaw. They either want you or they want Black Wolf back. And in order to protect your wife, we've got to act fast. I'll give myself up then. At least the savages will set Martha free. Well, it isn't that simple. They'll want to hold you both until Black Wolf is back in his village. I'll just have to run that chance. I knew you'd say that, Colonel. You stay here. We'll see if they'll bargain. I know you're risking your lives to do this. And I want you to understand I'll never forget it. Don't worry about us, Colonel. Just keep out of sight till we come for you. White men speak with forked tongue. Hawkeye speak with one tongue. Did Hawkeye speak with one tongue when he gave Black Wolf his sacred word? Listen to him, you'll all wind up in jail with Black Wolf. Hear me, I speak the truth. I did not break my word with Black Wolf. Others who want war spoke against the Wyandots. I tried to stop them. He lies. I tell you, you won't get your chief back without fighting. And I say there's another way. You wanted the Yankees chief? I will bring him here for you to hold until Black Wolf is free. Akai may promise with tongue. His hands empty. The Yankees chief is not far from here. He'll come here with me. It's just another trick. Don't listen to him. You Mohican warrior, friend of Hawkeye, he speak truth? Hawkeye, my blood brother, speak truth. Bring White Chief. Great White Chief, come. Hawkeye, keep word. You give word? Trade white chief and woman for Black Wolf? Black Wolf here safe in two sons. On third son, white chief and woman die. And Wyandot kill Hawkeye on sight. So be it. this cock and bull nonsense? Black Wolf stays in his cell until Colonel Ewing and his wife are delivered here safely. Major, if I don't get Black Wolf back to his village in two days' time, no white man will be safe on this border. Colonel Ewing and his wife will be dead. I'm sorry, but I can't believe that. As long as we hold their chief, they wouldn't dare. Braxton's assured me of that. Braxton's a renegade. I've proven it to Colonel Ewing. I can prove it to you. But first, you've got to release Black Wolf. Until I'm relieved of command here, I'll give the orders. Black Wolf stays in his cell until the Wyandots have delivered Colonel Ewing and his wife to this fort. That's all, gentlemen. I've seen some stupid, hard-headed army officer in my life. That Major Wilson beats them all. Now why and not be forced to kill Colonel and Squaw? Well, maybe not. How many men are guarding Black Wolf? Only C2. But if whole army guard, I go with Blood Brother.
Well, Archie, now what was it you were saying about renegades? Where's Blackwell? In the trusted hands of the man who advised me in this affair from the start. Braxton? Braxton, yes. <laughs> he told me about your horde of Indians outside the fort ready to storm the place. But I've checkmated you, Hawkeye. Black Wolf is with Braxton, and his orders are that at the first shot, Black Wolf is to die. Get their guns. <laughs> Done a lot of things, Braxton, but killing in cold blood is not Who one said of... anything about cold blood, Wade? We're just following up Major Wilson's orders, if that's all. You know as well as I do, the orders were that we are to kill Black Wolf only if we hear shooting. Sometimes, Wade, a man hears what he wants to hear. I hear shooting. There's the noble red man, a few last words. Are you thinking or praying? Evil white men may take Black Wolf's life, but not his spirit. Chief of Wyandotte's spirit, stay with his people to guide their vengeance. As Black Wolf believes in Manitou, so will your scalps hang in our lodges long after I am gone. I said you could have a few words, Indian. You've had them. Certainly happy to see you both back here safely, sir. Thank you, Major Wilson. By the way, I have a prisoner for you. Colonel, those two men, they're the ones who... Braxton? Exactly. The man you should have had in your jail in the first place. Lock them up. Colonel, I... We'll discuss all that later, Major. Yes. yes now, sir. would you see Mrs. Ewing to our quarters? Yes, sir. Now, just a minute, Major. I shan't even try to say it, but I think you two know how I feel. I'll never forget you. Well, thank you, ma'am. It goes without saying that I'm eternally grateful. Is there anything at all that I can do for you? Anything you want? Well, there's one thing, sir. Major Wilson. What about him? He's young and impulsive, and you got to admit he wasn't the only one taken in by Braxton. Maybe he's learned something about the Indians and the frontier. Maybe he has. I'd be the last one to hold it against a man for honestly doing his duty. Much good. Well, goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans.